Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And if you caught my last video, you'll see that uh, I finally had my first round of golf for 2023. Amazing! Um, and there's definitely some areas to work on. Um, the main area being 120 or 130 down to 50 yards. So um, I'm using a bit of help from Peter Finch, not directly, um, but from YouTube, uh, where he did a video about a year ago talking about making a wedge matrix where you do a half swing, three quarter swing, and a full swing with all your wedges, get the yardages, and then it gives you a bit more of an idea what club to use and what shot to hit into those shorter shots to try and lower your score. So today I'm on the Trackman. I'm using my TP5X ball, um, and I'm gonna get all my wedge distances and make a wedge matrix. So I'm gonna hit five shots with each club and gather the data and then show you at the end um, how to make a wedge matrix and yeah, show you my distances with each shot. Right guys, so that's all of the hitting and measuring done for the wedge matrix. Hopefully all of the gapping is good, um, but I'll get back home, I'll put it all together and then we'll go through it. And hopefully we'll see some better shots inside of 130 yards. Um, but yeah, I'll see you when I get home. So going through all my averages here um, with each shot and each club, with the 60 full swing, my average carry was 84, three quarters was 78, Half swing was 60. Moving on to my 55, 95 carry, full swing, 87, three quarters and 70 half swing. Moving up to my gap wedge, 112 carry, 99 for three quarters, 78. And then pitching wedge, one, two, six, full, 112, three quarters and 90 half swing. So putting all that into a matrix, full, three quarters, half. Um, and here we go, here is my wedge matrix. Um, and as you can see, there are many different options to go for. Some are the same in terms of carry distance, but they all do have different flights. So I'm going to show you in a second um, the different flights per shot. So looking at the graphics now, here we have my trajectory for my full pitching wedge. So as you can see, it's quite a high flight, um, looking at about 30. Um, so most of them are around that sort of height, maybe a, a couple of them are a little bit lower. Um, but then moving into um, a three quarter and then a half pitching wedge, as you can see the peak height goes way down below 20. So if I'm looking to keep it out of the wind and maybe um, pitch it sort of in the middle of the green and roll it back to a back pin, um, then that is a good option for a shot there. So now moving down to a different yardage, so three quarters with my gap wedge, um, carries at 99.5 and the peak height there is just over 20 um, and that is the same carry distance as a full 54 and as you can see full 54 um, comes up a little bit higher so again same carry distances on those um, but different shots I can use depending on the type of shot that I want to hit into the green so it's good to know carry distances but also the flight so you know how much it's going to either run on or might spin back um, and then the same again here with um, the same yardages in terms of 98 yards so that's a three quarter 60 degrees which is going to go a bit higher than the half 55 but guys i hope you have found this video interesting and if you have liked it please give it a thumbs up down below and obviously don't hesitate to subscribe and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.